Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Wednesday after a hysterical Tuesday. Uh, we got some stuff on here in Aussie, so we'll make this short and sweet. Um, got to pay attention. Quickly here, ZN. We talked about it yesterday. Uh, if you look at the yield side of this, US 10 we basically printed the double bottom yesterday, 132.60. Um, so short ZN looks okay, which is odd in this kind of um, in this kind of moment. But if you think that um, the risk parity guys are going to have to square, there will be some selling of bonds. Um, dollar yen also interesting. Turned down at 109.89, now a 110.37. If you look at this uh, daily, uh, this hourly here, you see this bar here down here. Printed down to 89, bullish engulfed. Printed down to the figure, all the way up to 50. It's a dicey, dicey play. Um, but if you think the GPIF is around, uh, this is what. This is what you got to do. You got to be long dollar yen. You got to be short ZN. Makes no sense in this risk off, but this is what the charts are saying. Uh, you know where your stops are. Obviously, stop below 90 in dollar yen. Uh, and in ZN, your stop is 133.15. Gold got smashed. Why did gold get smashed? In times of hysteria, people have to liquidate everything. So if you had a portfolio of long gold, uh, to hedge out your long Google, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You sold your Google, you sold your spoos, you had to sell your gold, you had to sell your winners to pay for your losers. This is why gold got smashed. Gold, you should probably want to pick up between 1610 and 1580. Um, now that the positions are, are cleaner. Same with Bitcoin. You had to sell your winners to pay for your losers. This is why some of the safe havens now are getting smashed. You want to try and pick up Bitcoin between 9,200 and 8,200. Um, this uh, whole risk off is not over. Quickly to the Aussie, we talked about it on, on Twitter, uh, short Aussie, 85 was the bingo number. Uh, we're not, we haven't really done too, too much. Traded down to 70, now we're trading at 81. Uh, Managing this real time as we speak here. Aussie yen, uh, we talked about this yesterday. S uh, sold Aussie yen, sold Kiwi yen. This looks like a sale still. Um, Aussie yen through 73, the figure. Now we've printed 72.43. This is again a sale through 40. Um, so you want to add to your Aussie yen through 40. Don't get cute with this. This has further to go. Um, short Aussie yen. We like short Aussie yen. Cable, not doing much mid-range. The key point up here is uh, 130.75. Euro Swiss, below me. SNB, uh, we were short against the SNB a couple days ago, but the whole point of Euro Swiss is it's boring as all fuck. Don't bother with Euro Swiss, it's a 22 point range. Stocks are moving 100 handles a day. Um, you know, the bills are going to get paid elsewhere, so just leave Euro Swiss alone. Today we have the budget in um, South Africa. We saw some massive flow. Uh, at 1519 yesterday from a clear out of Boston. Uh, he was at 19, he was at 20, he was at 21 in big, big size selling dollars are. Uh, I don't understand what the fuck he was doing, but um, makes me think that people are long this stuff going into this uh, meeting and this could be quite, quite volatile as in a ripper higher than a ripper lower and then we close where we open. So be nimble uh, in dollars are today. Be nimble. Dollar CAD, one of our favorite longs out here. Uh, not collaborating at all. Just doing nothing. 
uh, let's take a, let's, let's relook at this if we can clear this 13310 area uh, if Aussie continues lower dollar CAD should continue higher finally dollar China not doing much look for this 70, 70, uh, 705.50 looks like there's official interest out there so keep an eye out on that um, as you can see I've got a lot of stuff going on here uh, I don't really have tons of time for this video so we're just going to leave this as, as this uh, Aussie Yen, Aussie are in the crosshairs right now waiting for this uh, waiting for this South African budget which is around noon time and as far as other risk events are concerned uh, just quickly we have um, nothing really we got some FOMC stuff new home sales uh, nothing so South African budget is the key today as far as releases otherwise we watch the stock market we will be fading high ones in the stock market um, I don't know, did we even go over this bar? Uh, anywhere uh, between 31.90 and 32.10 is a sell. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.